No one would have believed in the last years of the 19th century that human affairs were being watched from the timeless worlds of space. No one could have dreamed we were being scrutinized as someone with a microscope studies creatures that swarm and multiply in a drop of water. Few men even considered the possibility of life on other planets. And yet, across the gulf of space, minds immeasurably superior to ours regarded this Earth with envious eyes. And slowly and surely, they drew their plans against us. Quickly, one after the other, four of the fighting machines appeared. Monstrous tripods, higher than the tallest steeple, striding over the pine trees and smashing them. Walking engines of glittering metal, with articulated ropes of steel dangling from them, and puffs of green smoke squirting from the joints in these limbs. Each carried a huge funnel. All five fighting machines exulted, emitting deafening howls which roared like thunder. Two luminous, disc-like eyes appeared above the rim. A huge, rounded bulk, larger than a bear, rose up slowly, glistening like wet leather. Its lipless mouth quivered and slapped, and snake-like tentacles writhed as the clumsy body heaved and pulsated. A tall funnel rose. Then an invisible ray of heat leapt from man to man, and there was a bright glare as each was instantly turned to fire. Never before in the history of the world had such a mass of human beings moved and suffered together. This was no disciplined march. It was a stampede, without order and without a goal. It was the beginning of the rout of civilization, of the massacre of mankind. Suddenly there was a heavy explosion. The ground heaved, windows shattered, and gusts of smoke erupted into the air. The leaden sky was lit by green flashes, cylinder following cylinder, and no one and nothing was left now to fight them. The earth belonged to the Martians. <laughs> 